I'll say is that I find CBT, breathing exercises, meditation, just to be helpful mm. in general. I, I, I've, I've been, I told, I've told friends, I told my mom, I'm like, anybody could benefit from this. Um, yeah. So that appealed to me that it was instead of a, let's, let's try to mask the sound forever. And, you know, I, these are, these are healthy mental habits that I, I want to have anyway. So yeah. I, for me too, like I, I noticed, and this is one of like the most despairing aspects of my tinnitus is that I know what's happening in my body. I know this is like my auditory cortex or whatever. I feel my heart rate increasing. I feel my breath going short. I feel my like body being flushed with adrenaline. Mm. And I know that's making things worse and going to elongate this entire process. Mm. But it's hard to break that cycle. Like I'm, I'm just like, I cannot believe how bad the noise is right now. And then mm. it just, you know, it's a loop. Yeah. So having yeah. an app that is like helping pull you out of that a little bit. Um, for no other reason, just to slow your breathing down, that's good for your body. And what's good for your body ends up being good for your brain. These are, it's like a skill set. It's building a foundation of stuff that you can rely on um, at any point for anything, like just being able to pull yourself out of this cyclical thinking, which is harmful. Um, and it's just going to make everything take longer.